Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today we see a different sort of a counter, right? Till now we've seen the up counters separately, the down counters. They both we've seen them separately, right? But often in practice they are not used separately. We don't have a, this much time to use one circuit for up counting, the other circuit for down counting. So practically, in most of the practical cases, we require a counter that can count both in both ways simultaneously. Not simultaneously, but when we require them to do so. Which means if we require them to, uh, to count up through some control, it counts up. And when we require them to control down, so we have a particular control for that. And through that control, it counts down through the same single circuit rail, right? So today we discuss that. So let's say I take a 3-bit, all right? The 3-bit up-down counter. And this up-down is also, we have a term for this up-down, that is the ripple. Ripple counter, all right? Now I took the 3-bit because the 2-bit would be more simpler. And the 4-bit, it's not complex, but it's a bit longer to draw. So on my board, I cannot draw it properly. You have a bigger board, which I'm planning to, to do so. So we can draw it more easily, all right? But on this smaller board, we have a 3-bit can be understood perfectly, all right? So I talked about a control, all right? So what is that control? So in this case, we call it a mode control, M-O-D-E, a mode control. Uh, it is represented by capital M. This controls either to count up or count down. Is that fine? Now what do you have? Let's say I draw the flip-flops, all right? So this is the uh, or, or, or let it be, or let it be. Let's say this is the first flip-flop. This is the second flip-flop. And this one is the third flip-flop. Now, why am I leaving such spaces between them? So, I'm going to tell you right now. Let's say today we use the JK or, or, the, or the T flip-flop is the same. So, let's say we are using JK or T's. Uh, so, we, would, we won't have to come up down here, all right, to give that logic one input. So, we are using the same flip-flop that is T. All right, and let me name it TA. The output is QA and QA complement. Then we have TB, QB, and QB complement. Then you have TC, you have a QC, and you have a QC complement. And external uh, input, an external clock is provided over here to the first flip flop. Now this is an asynchronous counter, which means we'll be we're dealing in the output. The clock is not provided simultaneously to up the flip flop. This is an asynchronous, all right. And to the inputs, we provide a logic one. We provide a logic one. Now this is your logic one, which means the high state. Now, how to control it? And I need some space over there. I just uh, need to bring it a little down because I need a little space over here. And I'm not going to tell you from now, all right? Why do I need this space? I just tell you that I need it, all right? So this is your logic one, all right? Now, why have I left these spaces? So these spaces are left to, to, to modify it with the mode control, all right? We have what? We have a combinational circuit, a combinational circuit, 
between each pair of flip-flops all right each pair of flip-flops which controls the up and high counting now what is that so over here let's say let's say I, I, I write it down as the this is that combinational circuit we give the inputs Q Q complement and the mode input M we give these three inputs and depending on this it gives us the value Y and this Y is connected to the clock pulse of the next flip-flop clock of next flip-flop is it clear till here now let me draw the truth table for it all right so now we have to find out this while right what should be the circuitry here that we give the clock pulse to the next flip-flop so that we are determining all right so we have this mode input M we have Q we have Q complement and we have Y as the output all right so the input combinations okay now these are the input combinations now let me tell you something whenever the value of this mode is zero when this M is zero the counter will do up counting and for this let's say we have the Q is connected to clock so have a look over here till this place we have the value of Q0 so we do what uh, Q is copied to the clock pulse which means we have a 0 0 1 1 fine now what do you have whenever the value of the uh, mode input M is equal to 1 so this denotes a down counting alright and in this case we have the Q complement is let's say connected to clock so Q complement till this case now 0 1 0 1 now how to determine the value that is the equation for y so you know it very well you draw a k map this is a 16 cells map like this sorry an 8 cell map because we have three inputs and we have this m over here we have q and q complement all right this would be 0 this would be 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 now you fill them up so how do you fill 0 0 1 1 all right 0 0 1 1 fine and over here we have a 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 so this is a very simple game app as you can see so you have only two groups so y in this case is equal to this group this group is what it is M and it with a Q complement is not changing then or with the next group which is this one and over here we have M complement and Q that is not changing so this is the Y that we need over here alright so first let me draw this M so this is your mode input M fine this is your mode input M then this is let's say given to this NOT gate to give you an M complement this is M complement fine and the red is M that you know all right now in each successive cases we require these two AND gates and an OR gate so let me draw them first uh, over here we have these two AND gates and an OR gate I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for the drawing I cannot draw these gates properly I don't know why only right, the output is given here it's given here and it's given to the to the clock of the next flip-flop fine 
Similarly over here. Oh, I draw this beautifully. And the org just a little problem with it, but it's fine. And similarly we have over here. Fine. Now the inputs. So, so we have the input what? It's M and it's Q complement. So M is red. M is red. And Q complement is from here. So QA complement in this case. Fine. And then you have an M complement and Q. So this is Q. And the M complement is with the green color. So over here, let's say. Is that fine? Similarly over here, you have the M complement Q. M complement. You have Q. And for the next grid, you have an M and Q complement. So this is the Q complement. And the M is with the red color. Is that fine? Now if you have the fourth bit, so for the fourth bit, you have these input combinations, then you have the fourth bit as well. You derive the, the equation for Y using K maps, and you include that uh, particular combinational circuit between each successive flip-flops so to get the four bit up down ripple counter for me i don't have space over here so i cannot draw it that is easy to draw all right so you can do it yourself whenever required all right if you understand the three bit you understand the two bit you do practice the two bit all right so that is more than enough for you all right so that's all about it and one thing i'm noticing over here this is i believe the exclusive or operation as we know uh, y is equal to uh, a complement B into A B complement. All right, A complement B, or with A B complement. So you check it. All right, I'm getting a little confused in this case. Exclusive or. Exclusive or. All right. Uh, so if it is. So you can use a single exclusive OR gate between M and Q over here in place of these two NAND gates and a single. So in place of three gates, you can use a single exclusive OR gate. But there is one first. First, you check this. You check this. If either, uh, not this, this. If either this is an exclusive OR operation or not. To me, it is. Just I'm a little getting confused, all right? And I will check it and I will confirm it then, all right? So so that's all about today. That's all about the 3-bit ripple counter. See you in the next lecture very soon. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.